Okay, let's tackle drawing number 22. This time with on shape. I'm just going to click to enlarge, and you can see we've got uh, a front panel here that's basically 50 by 75. 15 across the top, there's your dimension for that right there, and a 30 degree angle here. Unknown length of line, so we'll let on shape figure out what that is. Jump over here where I've already got a drawing started, drawing 22. And I'm just going to click on the front plane because that's where I would like that uh, initial view to, to uh, be. I'll click the sketch button, grab the line tool, and let's just start. Oh, right around there should be fine. I want to make sure it's horizontal though. So notice I waited until I got that snap. And I'm going to say that's supposed to be 75. It's going to tell me, oh my god, that's a long way to go. So I am going to right click and say zoom to fit. There we go. I'm going to go up vertical. Um, yep, there we go. Type in 50. Zoom out a little bit more. Come across horizontal again. It says it wants to be parallel to the bottom, which is fine by me. 15. Whoops, I guess I forgot to click. Aha, 15. All right. Um, you know what I should have done? I'm going to press escape because I need one more line coming up from there, an undetermined length. And it needs to connect there. Okay. With on shape, I can get away with that uh, because once I add in the dimensions, then it will adjust things accordingly. With AutoCAD, I would have had to have known that. Uh, dimension or the angle beforehand. Okay, so what I'm going to do is switch to my dimension tool, click those two lines, get an angle measurement, and type in 30. Press enter. You can see this line just got longer to accommodate that. The reason I did that is if I jump back over here, that was supposed to be a 30 degree angle, and that line was an unknown length. So tell on shape that's 30 degrees, it figures out that length. Now this side is done. Now what we need to do is come across 65. We might as well do that with an extrusion. Now this is um, kind of a hollow wireframe box and we're not going to go into, give this, into how to give this any sort of thickness. Um, I'm going to treat it like it is hollow in my drawing and just go with that. We're going to end up drawing a rectangle on that surface eventually and not worrying about it. Um, so. For now, let's make this solid and 65 deep. I'm going to jump back over here to my drawing. I'm going to accept my sketch, grab my extrude tool, click on the sketch. I'd like it to go backwards, not forwards, please. This way. Thank you. And I'm sure there's a dimension somewhere. Oh, there it is. 65. And accept. And there we go. We got our basic shape done. Now, here's another area where on shape has an advantage over AutoCAD. This is already a plane that I could draw on. So if I click on that plane and start a new sketch, I am ready to draw on this surface. Let's run back over here to our drawing. It appears that what we have is a rectangle that uh, comes in 10 from the top. 10 from each side and 15 from the bottom. So let's see if we can't use offset on some of these edges we've got already. Thinking about that for a second. Yeah, that feels like a decent way to go. All right, offsets right here. Not a whole lot of tools hiding under that one. Pick that edge. Come on down and Okay, we're still in the offset command. Let's try this. Come on, follow me. There we go. Enter. 10. Still in the offset command. I knew better than to try to drag that time. I just waited for the arrow to show up. Enter. 10. Enter again. One more. And 15. Okay, let's try our trim command. 
Click. Good. Good. So far, so good. Everything's going according to plan. Trimming up nicely. One more line. All right. Accept our sketch. And this drawing, for our purposes, is done. <laughs>